Hey guys, it's Dr. Salceda, your conscious gynecologist. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to be talking about probiotics and endometriosis and the relationship between the two and why probiotics can make endometriosis get a lot better. So let's get to it. So probiotics are really incredible supplements that can help reduce gut dysbiosis and replenish the biologic microbiome that's within us. Now, remember, the microbiome is the constellation and population of healthy bacteria that work symbiotically with us as a human as a whole. Now, they help us with our immune processes and they help prevent um, sicknesses and illnesses and inflammation that can make a lot of disease processes that we know them today, like highly associated rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and also gut dysbiosis is highly associated with endometriosis. Now there are two areas of where I want to focus this talk on gut dysbiosis and endometriosis as a whole. The first is is that if we have a dysbiotic intestinal microbiome, then we are going to have inflammation in our intestines. Now, the microbiome in our small and large intestines are a constellation of bacteria that help prevent breakage of endotoxins and bacteria that can leak into our abdomen and cause inflammation at the level of the pelvis. That will activate all these interleukins and inflammatory cytokines to overregulate our immune system and cause a hyperactive response of our T cells and our macrophages. Now, if we help replenish the gut microbiome with healthy probiotics, what happens is that it actually helps keep the negative disease causing pathogenic bacteria at bay so that there's less of that breakage of the endotoxins and inflammation into our intestines. So probiotics can help us with reducing small and large intestinal inflammation and helps protect our immune system. Specifically to endometriosis, it helps reduce the the production and the presence of the estrobilome. The estrobilome is a constellation of bacteria that actually produce estrogen within our intestines. Now, if we have a lot of healthy bacteria, it helps keep that estrogen level down. And we need that estrogen level down from our intestinal microbiome because we don't want a constant circulation of estrogen that could feed the lining of the uterus and make it grow more. We really just want our estrogen to be coming from our ovaries, but this estrobilome can help increase that concentration of estrogen that's circulating in our body, and it increases the concentration of estrogen that can cause a lot of heavy and painful bleeding when we become a little bit more estrogen dominant. And so we wanna really help increase estrogen from our ovaries, but not necessarily from other sources. So probiotics can help keep those bacteria that increase estrogen concentrations at bay. Now, the other place that probiotics can help us a ton it was, is within our private area, within the vulva and the vagina, uh, and also within the cervix and the uterus. Now, there are a bunch of healthy bacteria within those genital and gynecologic organs of, the, of a woman. However, if there is less lactobacillus, that's because there is more disease-causing agents like E. coli and Gardnerella bacteria that are overrunning the lactobacillus, or there just isn't enough lactobacillus to help keep the healthy vaginal and vulvar microbiome. Now, when we go through our very first period, there's a high increase in estrogen. And that increase in estrogen attracts a lot of healthy bacteria into our private area, into our vulva. That healthy bacteria is called lactobacillus and it secretes hydrogen peroxide and that kills off all the germs, all the disease causing bacteria that leads to a lot of problems like pelvic inflammatory disease, bacterial vaginosis, frequent bladder infections. 
But in modern culture, a lot of people are using wipes and waxing and shaving off all their pubic hair and using too much soap. And that cleans away all the good bacteria that leads to imbalance in our gynecologic area. Now, if there's an imbalance of disease causing bacteria like E. coli and Gardnerella, that's highly associated with worsening endometriosis because there isn't very much healthy probiotic bacteria down there like lactobacillus. And so probiotics can help us with the intestinal microbiome, but also the vulvar and the vaginal and the endometrial microbiome, which are all of this constellation that helps us, that population of bacteria that helps us together. And so, yes, probiotics are incredibly helpful for endometriosis because dysregulation of disease-causing pathologic bacteria is highly associated with endometriosis because we know that endometriosis is a microbiome disorder. And the goal is to introduce healthy bacteria to our body that helps prevent any of that body inflammation. And how do you get probiotics? Well, you can take a capsule of them and make sure that they're enteric coated so that the probiotic doesn't get broken down by the stomach acid of your body. And so it makes it to your small and large intestine and releases appropriately. Now there's other natural ways that you can get probiotics like sauerkraut and kimchi and fermented foods because that also helps introduce healthy bacteria to your body. Another really great thing is to avoid too much cleaning of your private area. You don't need to use soap or wax or shave other than maybe just grooming your private area, but you don't want to shave or wax off all your pubic hair because that's where the good healthy bacteria can stick. And so just make sure that you're not over cleaning and then you're going to have a lot healthier vaginal bacteria. So that's it. That's how probiotics help reduce the risk for endometriosis or how probiotics can help reduce those symptoms that are related to it. If you're interested in a consultation, check out ConsciousGynecology.com and I'll be able to help you. My uh, personal mobile phone number is there and as well as my email address and a way to make an appointment. I would love to help you through your specifics of your journey. I hope you felt this video helpful. See you at the next video.